Have you ever thought about that you are actually going to die one day? <laughs> it is shown that 60% of Americans never think about it. But it's something that I think is important that we think about because when you hit that age, I'm now 60, and you realize, wow, I'm... I've made my way through my life quite a few years. And how many years do I have left? Maybe 30, 40, maybe 20. Who knows? Maybe 10. <laughs> but there's more, there's less time to get to the end than there is from where I started. Now, I just talked to a couple. They shared with me their story, their success story after going through watching many of my videos and really being inspired by the kinds of messages that I put out. How they, after 23 years of marriage, have opened up their relationship and completely transformed everything. And I'm going to tell you about this. I hear this over and over and over again um, from subscribers, from clients, from people that have taken my courses, uh, that they are ready to explore, ready to change their lives. And it does, it takes, it takes some steps. Of course it takes some steps. But when you are inspired by somebody like myself or other people who have actually gone through the process themselves and who have explored their sexual selves, their sexual beings, have created relationships that have become so much more exciting and fun and, and adventurous, you realize that there is that possibility and that, oh my God, like, I'm going to die soon. If I don't do this now, when am I going to do this? When am I going to actually make a change? Now, this couple decided, he decided to make the change after 23 years of marriage. His wife had not been in a very good physical state for a very long time. She was on many different kinds of of drugs to help stabilize her condition. She was uncomfortable a lot of the time. She she was definitely not in the mood for having any kind of sexual connection with him. And it had been a long time since they had done anything sexual. And actually any of the things that they had, they had done up to that point that were sexual were pretty vanilla and boring. And he was kind of bored with it and not sure what the next steps were gonna be. He could see that his wife was not doing well and he didn't know if that was ever going to get better. And she had already resigned to the fact that she was getting older and, you know, the children were growing up and that this must be it. You know, she was dealing with this chronic pain and her sex life was over. <laughs> so fortunately, he discovered my channel and ci amo. They fell in love again. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you how that happened. So, <laughs> he had seen a number of my videos, um, and one of them in particular, how I went through my own journey of, of why and how I started to open up sexually exploring in my, in my marriage, so check out that video. But he decided that, I have to do something about this. I have desires that are inside of me that I want to express and I don't have that much time left to live. And I've been with this woman for 23 years. Um, and nothing's changed. And it's only getting worse, actually. And we don't have any kind of sexual connection at all. So something has to happen. I have to do something. I have to take a risk. I have to jump out of the, jump off the cliff and, um, do something that that is is really quite terrifying me and I'm not sure how she's going to react. He had had a little bit of an event happen to him prior to this that also helped trigger this motion, kept trigger this into motion and I don't know maybe you have some of these kinds of things happen to you, different kinds of events that exist but you keep kind of pushing them away or you saying you, you fear them that no I could never do that, I'm in a monogamous relationship, I'm in a uh, I've never cheated in my life. I would never do anything against my wife. And all of that is very, very um, uh, uh, honorable. Um, but this particular situation, he was being uh, he was being nagged by this particular situation over and over and over again. Now, this man had a good friend who had a fiance who was very sexually active. And his good friend said, listen, 
I know what's going on in your marriage. If you are interested, if you are able to, I would like you to have the opportunity to, to be with my partner. Uh, she is just, she's so full. She is such a full sexual woman, fully awakened sexual woman. I can't handle her. I can't handle her. She needs more. And I would love for you to have the opportunity to have sex with her. Now, he was taken aback by this. He was shocked and he did not want to have anything to do with it um, for a very long time. He did not want to hurt his wife's feelings. He did not want to go into a non-monogamous situation. He, um, he just felt it was completely and totally wrong and he thought his friend was absolutely nuts. So he kept turning him down, turning him down. But he started to explore online a little bit more about people's explorations and what people were doing and hearing my story and hearing different um, information that I was offering. He decided one day, you know what? maybe it's time and I'm not going to do this without telling my wife because I am a very honest person and he, he, he is he's um, you know he has integrity he has commitment he honors his wife and he loves her loves her dearly he loves her dearly <laughs> so he decided though he was going to talk to her 23 years of marriage and nothing in the foreseen the uh, the foreseen future um, was was really bringing him down and frustrating him and you know he was feeling depressed so he sat down with her and said look at this is what's happened my friend has a partner um, and you know I think I would really like to do this because you know I, I need some sexual connection and I'm really missing it and you know he explained to her in a very calm um, peaceful way <laughs> calm and gentle way let's say and to his absolute delight and surprise, she said, okay. <laughs> he was in shock, of course. But she felt like, yes, I think that you do need to have some, some sexual exploration, and I can't offer that to you right now. So he was absolutely thrilled, of course, and he was very scared because now he had the okay from his wife. Was he going to actually follow through on this adventure? Of course he was he was ready to do it he had been waiting a long time and so he talked to his friend and they set it up um, his wife was also there when they talked and met they all knew each other very well and he literally had the opportunity to sleep with this woman and have a sexual um, connection with somebody it was very exciting very fun for him after that you would not believe what happened <laughs> all of these kinds of things are counterintuitive we think that there is you know we're all holding these desires that we cannot express and that they're difficult to express to our partners because our partner might leave us and think that we're crazy for actually feeling or thinking these things but counterintuitively often our partners think the same thing or has some kinds of desires or our partner is wondering like when are they going to ever explore their sexuality what's what's going to happen in, in your sexual lives they're feeling stunted and repressed and maybe depressed as well so counterintuitively when you you do these things through the fear of thinking that you're going to end up breaking up or everything's going to fall apart you actually become closer together and things change and things actually unfold in a way that you had not expected so here he was given the okay by his wife to sleep with this woman he did it was exciting his wife got turned on by it as well. Now she had not been turned on for a very long time. She was not able to have sex. It was painful for her. Um, she was probably very bored with what they were doing up to that point. And she was not physically feeling well as well. But this event really turned her on, got her excited, got her wet. So they were immediately able to then have sex. And he said it was the best sex they had had in a long time. And things progressed from there. She wanted to then get involved. And so at times he would have sex with this woman and then he would have sex with his wife and then sex with this woman again and then with his wife. And one time, one night he said that he did not sleep at all because he was just having sex with these two beautiful women. Not so bad. This is after 23 years of marriage, remember? And not any sexual exploration. Then her partner started getting involved with the three, the, the, the three of them or the three him and him and the girlfriend and, and the partner started getting involved he is not bisexual or interested in men at all 
but he was very interested in other types of exploration like anal and pegging and, and just all sorts of things that he'd never had that opportunity to explore. Now, he and his wife had um, had 23 years of, of sexual sexuality, sex, sex together, but they never really conversed about what she liked or didn't like. She she would often push him away. I don't want that. Don't do that. That hurts. That and <clears throat> would never explain what she really wanted. But now she started to talk. Now she started to say like, I actually don't really like the way you do it like that. And he said, well, he he would ask her then, how would you like me to do it? I'd like you to do it like this. And he would. And then things got better. So suddenly his sex with his wife, his sexual connection with his wife improved. 100%. She started to come into her own sexual being and become alive as a sexual being. And he was exploring with this other woman and this other man. And eventually all four of them were having this mixy matchy kind of sexual connection together. Now I've heard many stories over the years. Um, this was one I just heard very, very recently. So I was very excited to share with you because I know that many people are scared and I get so many comments about, oh, I don't know how to tell my wife, how am I going to tell my wife? She's so shy. She, she, she doesn't really like sex. We haven't had sex for so long. And here's a very, very strong example of a very similar situation that exists out there, a long-term relationship where there has not been very good sex for a very long time. And maybe even one of you is in physical pain because what does happen? When there is no sex, or when you're not able to explore your sexual being, your body breaks down. You start to get physical ailments, or you start to gain a lot of weight. So sex is such a healer. And I could see this, this man, as he was telling me his story, he is glowing, he is excited, he was so happy to share, he was so excited by his whole new life, and he was super excited to continue to explore with his new wife, basically, who had come out as a completely different being, loving sex and wanting to um, incorporate this in their relationship. So if you are still sitting on the fence and still very scared, know that you are supported out there by all sorts of people on my site, me included. If you want some genuine one-on-one -on -one support, I am here to help you. So just sign up for a chat with me and let's book some sessions and get you and your wife talking or just you into a more confident place so that you can open up to her. The last thing I want to share with you that I told him was that once you enter into this realm of sexual exploration, the adult playground, just keep allowing yourself to flow. Keep opening the doors there is always going to be some other type of exploration behind that door. It never ends. I have been exploring all my life. I'm 60, well, I mean, since I was you know, 25 or something. And uh, other women and men that I know that are in this industry who are sexual teachers, sexologists, sex therapists, tantric practitioners, they all say that this exploration of sexuality never ends. So <laughs> never give up, <laughs> always have hope. Take those steps into making your sexual life come alive again. Much love making. So if this is inspiring you, I invite you to get my special package right now. Two of my signature programs, the Deeper Us, the Threesome Formula for Couples. This is to help you. This is program. These are programs I made myself to help you, inspire you even more for you and your lover, your wife, your partner who you've been with for a long time to open up and to start to talk and to explore and to change up where you are now to a place where you're going to be more alive and really enjoying your sex life again.